Today we are going to see a lot of uh, glassware are kept here on the table. This is for your information. As a first year student, you must know what are all the glasses generally used in bar and restaurants and uh, you know hotels. So we'll start with uh, the glasses which are displayed in front. This one is a cocktail glass, but the glasses are categorized in two categories. One is stemware, one is non without stem. So when we talk about two categories, this is stemware one. This is with the stem, this is the cocktail glass, the capacity is 4 ounce. Ounce, 1 ounce is, is equal to 28 ml, but we convert into 30 ml. So 1 ounce O is, it, is equal to 30 ml. 30 ml means, I am talking about this. This is a peg measurer or we can call it as jigger. This jigger has two sides. You could see this is the peg pourer, peg measurer. We can see both the sides, 30 ml this is. 60 ml. So 1 ounce is equal to 30 ml. 28 ml exactly but we convert into 30 ml. So this is peg measurer and this is martini glass, the stemware. Now we see this glass. With this is a champagne glass. In this the champagne drinks are served. This is 6 to 8 ounce capacity. Okay. This is also direct without its stem. Now this glass is called sherry glass. Can you see this glass? Sherry glass without any stem. The you know the round particle is directly there on this uh, down below and you can see the sherry is a drink which is served directly. So this is the sherry glass. This is a very small glass as you all know parties Generally, discotheques people use tequila shots, shot glass. This is called as a shot glass. You can have a tequila poured on this, and one shot you gulp it. And you can have cheese or salt along with this. So, this glass is called as shot glass. Now, this is juice glass. The capacity is you can have uh, 90 ml of juice in this. So, this is called juice glass. In continental breakfast, you serve juices, so it can be a fresh juice and canned juice. So small juice, if any guest is ordering juice, pineapple juice or uh, mango juice small, in, the, in this case we serve in this small juice glass. So this is the small juice glass and when we next move ahead, this is without any stem, this you can see, this is called uh, roly poly glass, roly poly. This is also used as a cocktail in this we can serve cocktail as a bloody mary bloody mary is a cocktail made of vodka and tomato juice so the bloody mary cocktail is served in this roly poly glass okay now next one this is highball glass generally used to you know serve the water and uh, this is kept on the table on the right hand side of the glass on the right hand of the table and the glass is kept on the tip of the knife, the side knife. So the water glass is kept on the right side and the capacity is, this is about uh, 6 ounce, 4 to 6 ounce. Next is beer mug, as you can see in this, the beer mug, it, ha it has a handle and the beer is served. When you serve the beer, it is you know, you directly 40 degree, you tilt it and serve it from the bottle to the glass and you can serve it in this beer mug. So this is called beer mug with a handle and this is the capacity of 10 to 12 ounce. This is called soda decanter. You can see the decanter shape in this soda is poured and it is kept on the guest table for any kind of drinks and parties. So the soda is put in this, poured in this and the soda decanter is kept on the guest table to add soda to his drink. Next, this is the red wine glass. As you know, red wine is served in red wine glass. So this is the red wine glass which has a big stem and the round is underneath and it has a huge volume. So the capacity is, this is 6 to 8 ounce, red wine glass. Only red wine is served in this glass. Remember this. Next, this is the white wine glass. Capacity is 6 ounce. 
the handle is very small, the stem is very small and this capacity you can see. So this is the white wine glass. You can serve only white wine in this. Remember the difference between the red wine glass and the white wine glass. This is the red wine glass and this is the white wine glass. Remember the difference between both the glasses. The red wine glass stem is bigger, white wine stem is lesser. Next glass, this is margarita glass. You can see a coupe in between and you can see the shape, it's round and it is the stem is big and this is called the margarita glass. It is a margarita, it's a drink, cocktail drink. So you can serve margarita in this. This is called martini glass. Martini is a drink, it's a V-shaped glass, you can see. The V-shaped glass with a short stem. And this is the martini glass, you can serve martini in this. Martini is a drink which is served. And champagne fluid. This glass is called as a champagne fluid because this has a fluid kind of shape. You can see this and the handle and stem is very short. This is called champagne fluid to drink champagne like this. Okay? Now, this is again a beer goblet. We call it as beer goblet where the beer is served. Only the beer drink can be served. This is the beer goblet and here is the beer mug. In both the cases, you can serve beer. In both the glasses, you can serve beer. This is the beer mug because it has a handle. This is the beer goblet which has a short stand. Both are used for serving beer. Now, that is, this is also a cocktail glass which is having a huge stem, but there is no zigzag. This is also a cocktail glass. This is also a cocktail glass. Look at the difference. Only the design is different. Not much. Okay? So, this is also capacity is 4 to 6 ounces. The cocktails can be served. So, this is a cocktail glass. And now, when we talk about uh, champagne, champagne saucer, champagne drink is served and it is given to the guest on top of the table. So champagne saucer only to serve the champagne. So this glass just looks like a saucer. So this, that's why it's called as a champagne saucer. Now this is a punch bowl. This is a bowl type of glass where you could see in this is kind of a you know mixed juices, punches and fruit punches, all kind of variety of mocktails can be served in this. So this is the punch bowl and very important, essential important tool is a knife. So a bar should have a knife to cut, peel any kind of garnishes, lemon and all these things. Now here comes the bar spoon to mix large drinks. So this is the bar spoon which has a very long handle, you could see this. So this is the bar spoon to mix the drinks and definitely this is ice bucket where you can put all your ice and put it and keep it on the guest table. And of course this ice bucket has a tong to pick up the ice cube from the ice bucket. So ice cubes, ice tong and ice bucket both goes hand to hand. This is the bud wash basically where you keep the flowers on the guest table. So this is called as bud wash to keep the flowers. And this is called Boston shaker where you shake the drinks properly. So the particles I could show you like a Boston shaker. So this is how it is. The cocktails are mixed in this, poured in this and it is put a lot of ice and you shake it properly. So this is called Boston shaker. So here is a small uh, bowl which is kept for any kind of uh, snacks or something like that. And very important thing is that whenever you serve the drink, you have the coaster. This is called coaster. This is a protector for the glass. This is the glass cover also we can say it. Whenever you serve the drink, you keep the coaster on the table like this and keep the napkin stand like this and keep the champagne glass like this or keep the cocktail glass like this and serve the drink to the guest. So the use of the coaster is like this. It is kept underneath. Now we have this one 
this one is generally the champagne chiller where uh, the champagnes are served to the guests. This champagne chiller is kept next to the table. Why? Because in this, this have a deep breath. They put the ice into this, keep the champagne bottle into this, and keep it chilled and you know keep it next to the table if the guest is sitting here. So the champagne chiller is kept here. So these are the very, very important things which I wanted to discuss, which I wanted to tell you. So there are different types of glasses as we have seen today. So update yourself, you know, so this video will be useful for you to understand what are all the different types of glasses which are generally used in bar and restaurants and coffee shop and, you know, the guests. Thank you very much. Have a good day.